Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at MAC's upcoming Lips and Tips collection, also called the Fashion Sets Collection. This collection will be available May 3rd in stores for the United States, and usually a few days before that online. And what this is, is MAC has taken a set of its classic or most popular lipstick colors, and then translated those into lip gloss colors and nail polish colors. So most of these lipsticks are permanent in the line, there are just three of them that are limited edition, but the rest of the colors mostly are new colors or limited edition colors. As always, please make sure to go to AlluraBeauty.com. I will have photographs there so that you can see up close what all of these swatches really look like and how they appear when actually applied to the lips and the nails. On Mac's website, these sets are divided up into regions in the world. So you have, for example, like North America or Asia, but at least for US customers, you can purchase all of the colors regardless of what region they are divided up into on the website. Additionally, these come in sets of three, a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a nail polish, but you don't have to buy all three items in the set. You can just, for example, if you like only the lipstick in the set, you can buy it separately. You don't have to buy all three of these items, even though they all have the same name, as we'll see in the video. So there are a total of 16 lipstick colors that are considered part of this Lips and Tips collection, but all of them are permanent, save for these three in front of you. And these limited edition colors from left to right are Razzle Dazzler, Spice, and Chestnut. So how this collection works is, for example, with Razzle Dazzler, there'll be a lip gloss in this same color and name, and also a nail polish in the same color and name, and the same for each of the 16 colors listed in the collection. So I'm going to divide them up by type of product instead of by color. I think that's a little simpler. So first we'll look at these three limited edition lipsticks, and then we'll look at the lip glosses, and you'll notice that some of the names repeat, and then we'll look at the nail polishes, and you'll notice again that the, that the um, names repeat. So first up we have Razzle Dazzler. This is a light cream peach color, and it has a luster finish. Very good pigmentation, glides on smoothly, has a moisturizing formula, and that color is pretty even on the skin. Next is Spice. This is a mid-tone neutral nude color. It's pretty deep for a nude color. This has a satin finish, so the pigmentation is more dense. It's more opaque than the Razzle Dazzler color, which was a luster finish here, but again, still glides on very smoothly. And third, we have Chestnut. This is also a satin finish color, so again, a denser pigmentation. And this is a rich chocolate brown color. Next up are the lip glasses. I think I forgot to mention the lipsticks, as always, are $14.50, as are the lip glasses here. There are 16 total colors. I'm going to show you 15 of them because one of them, which is Russian Red, is actually a permanent color but I will show you the 15 new limited edition colors. So I'll show them to you in sets of five. The first from left to right by color are Saint Germain, Myth, Angel, Razzle Dazzler, and Snob. So like I was explaining before, all of these colors, so Saint Germain, Myth, etc. They all have lip corresponding lipstick colors and nail polish colors. I just didn't show you the lipsticks in Snob, Myth, etc. because they're in MAC's permanent line, so you don't have to rush out and grab them just because MAC is promoting them in this collection. They will be available and you can purchase them, you know, six months down the line, a year down the line. So first up is Saint Germain. This is a light, cool pink color. It's a very popular lipstick color in Max line. The lip gloss formula in general isn't too sticky. There is a little bit of tackiness to it, but it goes on fairly smoothly. And generally they are translucent colors, so they aren't completely dense or opaque pigmentation. Um, so as you can see here with Saint Germain, it is a little translucent. Second is Myth. This is a light neutral nude color. It does have a slight um, orange tint to it. This reminds me a lot of the Viva Glam Gaga lipstick number two, the nude colored one. Third is Angel. This is a light warm pink. 
Max says it's warm, but I still think it is cool toned, meaning it has more of like a blue base than a yellow base. It's a darker version of white um, of Saint Germain here. Next is Razzle Dazzler, and remember we saw the lipstick in this color. It's a light cream peach color, and it has seems to have more thick pigmentation or more opacity than these two colors at least. And fifth is Snob, which is a light neutral pink color. Still blue based in my opinion. Um, I guess next to Snob, Angel doesn't look as blue based, but in any case, this is just a slightly darker version of Saint Germain. In this next set of five, we have Please Me, Pink Nouveau, Ravishing, Peach Stock, and Impassioned. So here we have Please Me. This is a warm toned, excuse me, a mid-toned warm pink color. Next is Pink Nouveau. This is a mid-toned cool pink color. So here's a good example. Um, if you are new to warm toned and cool toned, this one has more of a blue leaning hue and this one has more of a yellow undertone to it. So this one would be warm and this one would be cool. Next is Ravishing, which is a mid-toned neutral peach color. Then we have Peach Stock. It's a light peachy nude. So this is less orange toned than Myth, which we saw in the first set. And then we have Impassioned, which is a bright warm pink. This is a very neon, and I would say pretty medium to deep pink color. And for the last set, we have Morange, Spice, Girl About Town, Rebel, and Chestnut. So first we have Morange. This is a bright cream orange color, very, very vibrant, and pretty dense and opaque in pigmentation. Next is Spice. This is a mid-toned neutral nude color. There is Girl About Town. This is a bright blue-based fuchsia. Next is Rebel. This is a mid-toned plum color. And last is Chestnut, rich chocolate brown. Similarly, there are 16 limited edition nail polish colors, so I'll look at them in batches of five and then the last batch will be six. The colors here from left to right are Saint Germain, Myth, Angel, Razzle Dazzler, and Snob. And MAC nail polishes cost $16 each. All the colors we're going to see are cream formulas. So first up is Saint Germain. And the color descriptions are all the same across the board, whether it's in the lipstick or the lip gloss. This does show the nail. It's kind of streaky on the first layer, so I'll let this dry and apply a second one. Okay, so... You do see still a little bit of streakiness on the nail, so I'm going to have to apply a third coat. This comes off as a classic bubblegum pink color, so it's certainly not a unique color. And to be honest, I'm still seeing a little bit of the nail on the bed there. Now, I'm not going to apply more than three coats. I just think that if a nail polish color requires more than three coats to be opaque, it's just not worth it. Um, so for what it is worth, there is three coats there. Next up is Myth. And this is definitely a nude color. Doesn't have as much orange tint as the lip gloss did in the same color, but definitely patchy, streaky on application for the first coat, so I'll apply a second one. Here is coat two. Looks like this will do in terms of giving you an even finish on the surface. Next is Angel. Now this seems to be a little more of a rose color in the nail polish form. It 
It is a little translucent on the first coat, but it's fairly even, so you probably could get away with just one layer. Here's coat two. Very opaque, very even. Here is Razzle Dazzler. Here is coat two. After the second coat you get an opaque finish. Next is Snob. Again, translucent on the first coat, but it applies very evenly, so you could definitely get away with this kind of finish without it looking bad. Coat two. The next five we have are Please Me, Pink Nouveau, Ravishing, Peach Stock, and Impassioned. So here is Please Me. It's showing a little bit of streakiness, so I'll apply a second coat. Here's coat two. This color doesn't have as glossy of a finish as the previous colors that we've seen. Next is Pink Nouveau. It's pretty uh, even on the first coat. There's just a slight bit of unevenness, so I will apply a second one, but you could definitely just get away with this one layer. Next is Ravishing. This actually goes on very smoothly. I only see like one streak. I think that this color is pretty opaque just with one layer and so you could get away with just this as application. For good measure, here is a second coat. Next is Peach Stock. You get a very opaque layer there. As this color dried, it did become uneven, so you will need a second coat. And this does have a distinct peach or orangey tone to it, like I was talking about with the Viva Glam lipstick. So in my opinion, it's not very flattering, um, but it may work better on a different skin tone than mine. And here we have Impassioned. This coral um, comes out as a coral color, even though MAC describes it as a pink color little bit of translucence on the first layer, but you could probably get away with just applying this. Again, dries to a slightly less glossy finish than we see with most of the colors. And rounding out our nail polish marathon here, we have Morange, Spice, Girl About Town, Russian Red, Rebel, and Chestnut. Here's Morange. Pretty good on the first layer. Wouldn't need any more than this probably, but let's see how it dries. All right, this color dried very well, so you could get away with just one layer for sure.
Here is Spice. This is a lighter color than its um, lipstick counterpart. But it's great with just one layer. There's absolutely no patchiness or streakiness to it. It is still translucent with one layer, so I'll add a second. Sort of make that um, finish a little more dense. But if you like a more translucent finish, one coat goes on really, really well. Here is Girl About Town. This color also seems to go on really well with just a single coat. And it's pretty opaque, so I'm gonna leave this one at just one layer. Russian Red. This is the color that is permanent for the lipstick and the lip gloss. Just like with Girl About Town, it goes on very rich, opaque, and even with one coat, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Here is Rebel. Translucent, but even. Here's a quick second coat. If you apply it thickly on the first coat, you probably won't have to do a second coat unless you do really want an opaque finish. My nails are getting pretty stained there, so thankfully this is the last color. This is Chestnut. And there is a bit of translucence, it's not completely opaque, so I'll let this dry and I'll add a second coat. Here is layer number two. Alright, so there is the Lips and Tips collection, releasing May 3rd in stores. I think, in general, I'm not that impressed by the concept for this collection. Um, I, I, you know, MAC nail polishes aren't particularly good in quality. They're very, very expensive for the average quality that you get. Um, these colors weren't particularly unique across the board. Lip glosses also I'm not a huge fan of. Um, they just, I mean, just the formula isn't that fantastic, although they're not bad by the same token. I think these three limited edition colors for the lipsticks were great, but overall, um, you know, there's, there's nothing that was terrible about an, the quality for any of these colors or products, but nothing really, really stood out to me. So that's kind of just my general feeling on the collection. Again, as always, please check Allura Beauty if you want to see individual reviews and up-close photos for all of these colors. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of these colors with me, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.